Hi everyone! So in the last video I showed you how to go into your content folder and um, add a test. There it is. Before that I talked about discussion forums and assignments, um, files, and items. Now I'm going to show you very quickly <clears throat> how to put in a web link. So we go over here to build content, we click web link, and then when it finally comes up, um, there are three components to this, two are required. The first is the name, so this is MLA citation guide, um, and my link, there we go. Um, I got that from over here, so I went up here copied that link and then pasted it right in there the full URL don't worry about this thing about a tool provider and then I like to give students a little description so this is from the online writing lab owl at Purdue it gives a full description of how to document and cite sources using MLA formatting, period. Okay, so that's a pretty good description. And then, um, I don't know why these boxes are coming up so big. If you have another file that goes along with it, you can do that, but usually I don't. I just click submit. Um, we talked before about tracking views. If this is something that you are requiring them to read, then click yes, track views. If it's just kind of an optional resource, then don't worry about that. And you click submit. And then when this comes up, yeah, we're waiting. There we go. It tells me it's been created. I'm going to go down to the bottom of my page, and there it is. It has a little world for the World Wide Web, and it gives a web link. And that's it. I have a different um, video for you guys about how to add a YouTube video. Um, you can put a YouTube video in like this. So if I go to web link, um, this is my... <laughs> I don't care. Um, this is my personal um, thing where I'm going to be uploading some of these videos, but let's just go to regular YouTube. And it'll probably bring up a bunch of stuff for Saturday Night Live. Yes, it did. <laughs> okay. Now you guys know what I watch in my spare time. So I'm going to, let's say I want them to watch this thing about coronavirus. I don't, but let's just say that I do. I'm going to copy that YouTube link. And I can do the mashup um, that I show you in the other video. That is where on the home page or on the content folder, they can actually see the what the video looks like, like the um, thumbnail of it. Um, here, I'm just going to say this is required viewing um, YouTube clip of Saturday Night Live. <laughs> And I paste my clip in, and then this is a clip from SNL about the coronavirus. Okay, and then I have that, and then I click submit. So you can do a YouTube video that way, and it'll look exactly like the other web link does with that little world icon. Or if you watch the other video that I provided, you can see how to um, put a video in like this. Um, this is a lecture that I did about using the library databases for my online class. We did it in class, but some people were sick, so I put that up as well. And the nice thing about this is that they can click to watch the video right in, in line. If they're on their phone, it'll pop up on their phone. And... Um, there we go. And you can hear me say hi, everyone, probably at the beginning of this, too, because that's how I start all my videos. Um, I'm going to mute it so that that doesn't happen. But yeah, you can kind of see how that works, right? It's a lot easier for them to um, to access in that way. Here, they click on the link. 
it opens up in a new tab and then they watch it that way so it's not embedded in the same way. But either way is fine. Whatever works easiest for you, the MLA citation guide link would work the same way, opens up in a new tab, and then they can see the information from that link. Um, and on their phone, it would be a new tab on their phone as well. So there we go. That's how you add a web link. Pretty easy. Thanks.